These are some of the best agency sites that I could personally find. If you can find better ones, then please send them over to me. But right here in front of me, we've got seven individual amazing agency sites. Now let's get into it. The first thing that I'm looking for here in this amazing site, or one of the few things that we're gonna see as we go through these sites is that they're very different to your typical marketing site. Agency sites are a completely different beast. So the first one here we've got mubien.com or mubien i'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce it but as you scroll here we'll see that there's a very simple effect happening over and over and over so i'm just going to scroll here and you're going to see that every time you scroll there's a new project that's loaded on top of the previous one and then we want to click view it takes us to the individual case study page or the actual project page if it is if this is a real project or a case study or whatever it is but we can see more about it as we scroll further down but Again, with the very simple animation here, we have the intro. And then again, when you scroll down, you see their their work and they want to showcase that in a big image in the best possible way. They want to show you this is what we've got. This is our hero shot in the nav bar here. We've got different pieces. We've got the method about contact. Now, these two are quite popular about and contact. But then the method is new because it's showing people how they work. It's telling potential customers, if you want to see how we work, well, then this is the place for you to go. And I think that more agencies should do this because a lot of the times you just see their, their projects or you see a case study, but you don't actually understand how they work and what they do. Okay. And then after that, we've got start your project now. And then super cool. When you hover over the start a project now, you get this animation of all their most recent projects coming up. I'm not sure if this is a CMS or not. I'd love it if it was, because then it would just be constantly updating. But the fact that it does that is super cool. Now, when you obviously when you click on it, it's going to take you to a contact form and then that's just a simple contact, but it's still even that's pretty well designed. Next up here is going to be Mill3 Studio and Mill3 Studio is a little bit different from the last one because as you scroll down, you see all of their best work in a single screen. So it's the exact opposite of what we just saw where we had an individual work as you scroll new section every time you get a new project. Well, this one is the complete opposite. You have all their most recent or their best projects in one section that you can scroll through. And then obviously as you scroll down, you get a little bit about their approach, you get a little bit about what kind of work that they do, who they are, what they kind of what, what they like to work with or who they like to work with. And then that is pretty much it. So it's a very short agency site. It's a short website. But if you want to know more about the work that they're doing or about the projects, you can go ahead and click projects in the nav or in the footer. And then you get a more detailed intro to their project. So if you want to go ahead and click on this one here, so Langmobile, we'll see that it's now an entirely different website, right? It's completely different compared to the introduction, compared to the actual landing page, the home page. But here in the projects page, we see that there is a huge emphasis on the imagery. So we're not getting a lot of text here. We're only getting images. And I personally think that a little bit of text goes a long way. You don't need to have an, a massive paragraph, a massive essay explaining what you did and why. But personally, right now, I don't know what this is about. And I'd love it if there's a short piece of text that explained to me, I mean, maybe there's there's this here, but if there was a, I don't know, just a little introduction, who they are, who the project is for, the client, maybe even the budget, something like that would be cool. And then we've got a next project going on to the, to the next one. Now, I'm not sure, again, if this is a CMS or not. It would be cool if it was because then you don't need to keep updating that link. It just keeps going on to the next one but I'm sure it is. I'm sure these guys are, are well versed in all of that. Next up here is going to be the Craftsman. Now, the Craftsman has a site that is completely different to the previous ones and any site that you'll see from here on out. So this site here is composed of a grid system and it obviously one site of the day here, but the site shows you the simplicity of what you can do with a grid while still having it be a great experience for potential customers or clients or whatever you want to call them. So this is our hero here. There's no fancy image. There's no massive piece of text. There's the logo of, of who they are and then a small introduction that I don't even think anybody really reads. All they're really seeing is the grid system, right? So we see that there's work, there's about us, contact, and then see our services. I'm just going to scroll down for now so we can see what the animations are and what experience they wanted us to have, right? So as we scroll down, we, we're going to start seeing something really cool here. So we have the, the what we do. So this is a little bit about who they are, what they do, blah, blah, blah. There's a, a cool animation that as you scroll, it turns the, the services logo. But then when you get past a certain point, their services or what they actually want to do for you start expanding. And there's this cool animation that happens as you scroll by more of their services are shown to you. So you can actually see a little bit about what they do, who they are and what they can help you with. So after we have that animation, we've got some recent projects that they did. And then this very typical side scrolling text that doesn't affect depending on where you scroll through. But the main point was the grid system, right? We saw what we can do with a very simple grid system. And then on the bottom here, this is the contact section. So I bet you 
anything you want that you've never seen a send button this big or even a contact section this big. I mean, this is the entire section and the send is as big as an image or something like that. So Likely Story is a different website to the previous ones that we just saw. The previous ones were very individual. They were very trying to be their own thing. Like we can see here, they're very their own style. But then when we get to Likely Story, we see similar styles that we've seen before and you can even call it trendy if you wanted to. I'm not gonna be the one to say it, but that's there's nothing wrong with it, right? There's nothing wrong with being trendy. But as you scroll through, we see that there's something really cool here. There's a cool effect that I really like and I'd like to see more on websites and I think more people can learn from, but it's that when you scroll, more projects are revealed to you. And this can be good and bad in some cases, bad because people are waiting for projects to appear, but if you do it right and if you do it correctly and you don't time it too late, it can be a great experience for the person to find more pieces of your work and try to find more pieces of what you, what you can do. So if I reload it here, we will see that one more time. So you see these animations popping up and then the footer. So the main point here is going to be the projects themselves. And then when we click on it, it takes us to an individual project section, which which we've already seen and which we know about. But one of the things that I do like about this one, even though I don't think it's as well designed as the previous ones that we saw, it does have a nice introduction, who the team is, what the deliverables were, what the actual point of the website was or the branding project or whatever it was. I think that's also extremely important when you're talking about a showcase and when you want to when you want to be compelling to people that might want to see what you have to offer. And I think this is a great project page and something to look into. Now, next one is one of my most favorite sites that I've seen in recent history or recent memory. This one just won awards site of the day and for good, great reason. So this is a very simple agency site, but as you've seen previously, agencies can be completely different with how they want to showcase their work and how they want to talk about what they do. There's so many different ways to showcase that skill level. And this one is the best examples of that. So this is the hero section right here. And I'm just moving my mouse right now. I'm just moving it up and down. And we can see that the circles are triangulated depending on your mouse movement. So it's an X and Y axis animation, which can be done very easily in Webflow. Now, using my handy dandy extension here, we can see that this page is built using Webflow. So we can see that this is something that you guys could do at home using Webflow. There's no CSS required to learn how to do this. It's a very simple animation. Then as you scroll past, we can see that there's the projects that scroll up as you scroll and then they get stuck to the bottom one. So the bottom base of that. And another thing that I found cool about this website is that they tell us when it's a case study or when it's a live site. Now that's extremely important to me because I now know that the live site might be taken back a bit by the, by the customer's feedback. It might not be the full creativity of the designer and maybe a case study might be better for what I want to see because I want to see the full capability of this designer. I want to see the full capability of what this person can do without the pushback of a client that doesn't like their work or that wants the logo to be bigger. You know what I mean? So this is also very important to me. Now, next up in the site, there's, there's a really cool thing right in front of our eyes here. Every single agency site that we've seen so far has explained what their services are, who they work for, what they do, things like that. But none of them have a site or a section just like this one right here. Now, what works for me in this case is that this is a simple section. So they talk about what they can do. So UI, UX, web design, brand design, graphic design, but then there's this to play around with. So you want to stay around for longer. You know, it's an experience for the person that, that is coming after you. And then as you scroll down, there's another section that's similar. So it's another X and Y axis animation. And they talk about what kind of so we've seen the design section and then the build section. So they do workflow development, no code automation, e-commerce, things like that. And then as we go down, there is their prices and what they can do for a monthly fee. And that's all great. But one of the things that I think they should improve on that is a no brainer for me, at least, is that there should be a way for me to be able to click on this and take me to a the next steps that I want to work for. Right. Almost like a like an e-commerce page. If I wanted to select this right here, like starting from 4,000 a month, then I should be able to click that. That takes me directly to the start a project section. Now that's just a very simple link. Maybe they, they might not want to do that for some reason. I'm not sure, but then this takes me directly to the contact form. And then now I can get into what services I need and blah, 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 blah. But if you can save that one click, then that also helps. Now the next two are going to be a little bit different. So the past one that we just saw was actually a great example of a subscription web design agency. So we can see here that they're selling their services for $4,000 a month or euros a month. And that's pretty bonkers. But as we go down to the next one, we see that there is another two agency sites available to us. So the first one is going to be Glutier. I'm going to call it Glutier. I'm not sure if it's French or something and I'm butchering it, but there's a few cool things about this site. Number one is that it's quite a small, short site for, for what it is. And the way that they showcase their work is also quite interesting. So as you scroll down, we see that there is this donut or this torus, mathematically speaking, that is animated as we scroll, which is quite cool. I'm not sure 
what the effect is other than just to have it there and have this effect be the big thing about your website that stands out and that's also fine. But then as we scroll down, we see the cool thing about the website. So this is almost the opposite of what I usually would tell someone to do for their website, right? Usually I'd say, no, you need to have like a good page that explains what you did, why you did it, all the reasons for a case study, all the reasons for a redesign. But in this case, all we have here to, to look at is this slider. I can't access this in a larger format even. I can't even take it to another link. It's just simply this mock-up. Now, technically, I wouldn't suggest this, but I do think it's a cool mock-up, so I'll, I'll let it slide for the video. But again, if you do have to create a a page, then it should be one that is more in depth. But obviously this might still be in track or it might still be in work and all of that. So I won't go too, too harsh into it obviously, but it is what it is. So next up we have, just like we had in the apart agency, we have a subscription design agency, web design, whatever you want to call it for a certain amount of money every single month. And that is it. And then the bottom we have a massive book a call button. So it's similar to the craftsman one here where this is the contact form. The glue tier site here has a massive book a call button, which is quite funny to me. And then last one here. So the person that runs this site used to make more than a million dollars a year just with this design agency. So this is a website to look into, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great website to look into for inspiration and just to see exactly what they're doing and how you may be able to match that in, in a fraction, right? So this is a very simple header here, a design agency with a twist. So design subscriptions to scale your business. And if I'm not mistaken, these guys were the first ones to actually start it. So it's a single person that runs all these clients and all this massive agency. And it's super cool that he managed to do that without losing his marbles because I would have surely lost my marbles. And we can see that in the bottom here, we have the membership levels. So we were able to pick on three different membership levels if we wanted to, and then a very simple massive button again on the bottom. But this isn't really about the design of the site. It's a pretty simple design, trendy illustrations that he made as well. But I just thought it was a cool website to reference and to look into because the case study of the person and the company and the, the idea itself is very, very interesting for these three ideas here, design as a service. So these are some completely different agency websites. If you did enjoy the video, then please do let me know down below, leave a like, comment, do all those things, share it with your best web design buddies, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.